God bless you, class nine. Good morning. How are you? Today's class is very special because in this lesson we will be learning how neutron was discovered. You know, we have learned the discovery of two important fundamental particles. Cathode ray experiment discovered electron in 1879 by William Crookes and proton was discovered by Goldstein in 1886 and after 40 years around in 1920 the neutron the neutral particle of atom was discovered so this is how this is a long story of assumptions and observations which led to the discovery of very important subatomic particles making up the properties of atom and matter ahead so we begin in cathode ray experiment the electron was discovered and it was understood very clearly that electron is a negatively charged particle of the atom in a motion but the goldstein experiment discovered a proton as a subatomic particle which is comparatively very heavier as compared to electron then rather ford and other scientists started observing and proposing their assumptions of the comparison of atomic masses and they were very keen to know that why their masses are different and rutherford observed that atomic masses of element could not be explained on the basis of masses of electrons and protons only and he predicted that there must be some other particle making up the mass of the atom so the, the debate is started when the scientist started comparing the masses of hydrogen and helium how it happened when we see the mass of hydrogen atom is 1 and after the discovery of proton it was related to the mass of proton present in the nucleus so everyone was very confident about the mass of the atom is equal to the mass of the proton but when we studied and compared the mass of the helium atom the number of protons present in the helium atoms are double to that of hydrogen so the mass which was expected from helium atom was also double of the hydrogen atom it is expected but it is not real and practical the mass of the hydrogen is the mass of proton present in the nucleus and it was expected that the mass of the helium atom would also be the mass of two protons in its nucleus but when their masses were compared the mass of the helium atom was four times of the hydrogen atom so if we accept that the positive but the positively charged particle proton is making the mass of hydrogen atom then what is missing here in the case of helium we expected the helium atom to give us mass of two times of hydrogen that's two units but it is four times of the hydrogen atom means there there must be some particles present in the helium atom which are responsible for this increase in mass now in next investigations were continue and by 1920 physicist and other chemist knew that most of the mass of the atom was located in the nucleus at its center and that this central core contained protons 
but after 40 years research in 1932 another scientist james chadwick announced that the core means the nucleus of atom also contain an uncharged particle or neutral particle with no charge which he later on called as neutron now he performed an experiment he smashed or bombarded alpha particles now alpha particles are radioactive rays having very high energy when these rays or particles were bombarded on beryllium a rare metallic element and allowed the radiation that was released to hit another target paraffin wax means he bombarded alpha rays on beryllium and few few rays were emitted with very high energy and some neutral particles which showed no deviation to magnetic and electrical field when these rays and particles were allowed to pass through paraffin wax they ejected protons they ejected positive signs so we see the release of these neutron particles or neutral rays must be having very heavy mass comparable to the mass of proton and it was accepted that these particles must be neutral in nature so this experiment concluded that there is a particle present in the nucleus having mass equal to the mass of proton but this particle is called as neutron because of having no charge means this is electrically neutral now the properties of neutrons were also discussed neutrons carry no charge means they are neutral and these particles were highly penetrating because of having very high energy and speed and much of these particles were nearly nearly equal to the mass of protons and you know after this discovery sir james chadwick were also awarded awarded with a nobel prize now after knowing about another particle which is having equal mass with uh, with that of protons the mystery of helium atom mass was resolved so now we could explain ki why helium atom is having four times mass of as compared to hydrogen atom because two protons were present in the nucleus along with two neutral neutrons and the mass number was defined as the mass of the nucleus or the number of protons and number of neutrons present in the nucleus of all atoms now today's homework is again a calculation activity of calculating number of neutrons and number of protons in the first 20 elements from the periodic table class thank you god bless you and do the activity see you tomorrow